Earlier I showed you the scanning process for a, a book, in, in this case a copy of Wesley's works. That was done on an external camera which doesn't give you the whole story of, of, of how to, to scan because most of the work is actually going on on screen. So I'm using screen capture software to record what's going on within Advanced TIFF Editor. So I have first of all I'm going to, to ask for a preview of the page. The front piece as I mentioned contains a picture but this doesn't come out well in black and white so I'm going to switch to grayscale just for the picture. Within the multi-page TIF file you can have grayscale and black and white and uh, that doesn't cause a problem what is an issue is the file size caused by grayscale images. This can be corrected later on to some extent by using the processing features of Adobe Acrobat but generally I scan all my articles at 300 dots per inch in black and white which gives you a much smaller file and usually the, the, the quality is sufficiently good. Next page is text so I'm switching back to black and white. And scanning that you notice that the pages pr are processed much faster in black and white because of the smaller file size. I'm going to scan four pages at random just to give you an idea of the process. Using such an old book which has got marks and irregularities is deliberate in this case because I want you to, to see how you can correct such errors and produce at the end what I hope is going to be a reasonable quality image with newer articles, books, there shouldn't be so many problems and uh, if, you, if it works with really old material like this then you would have no problem pr publishing uh, new material. Okay, finally, you say no, you don't want to go to the next page. Um, you can get a preview of your pages. See, this one is skewed because of the the regular binding of the old book. Uh, you can make sure that there's no gutters c going over the text uh, as you go through by escaping from the scanning process, looking at the previews, and if necessary, deleting pages and rescanning them. It's easier to do it at this stage than when you've reached the end of a long scanning session and then you realise that half the pages in the middle are unusable because there is bits of debris or other marks on the page that make it unreadable. So I'm going to save it to the desktop using this file name and then that stage is complete.